Thank you for joining us and welcome to thismarkets.com country profile of the Federal Republic of Germany. I'm your host, Luisana Suegart. Germany has a population of over 82 million people with its currency, the euro, abbreviated EUR. The euro is currently valued at 0.635 euro to the US dollar. Let's take a look now at Germany's economy. Germany is highly industrialized and among the world's largest and most technologically advanced producers of metals, chemicals, machinery, vehicles, electronics, and other consumer products. The current account balance of Germany is just under $270 billion, with imports of $1 trillion and exports of $1.3 trillion. Germany's major exports include machinery, vehicles, chemicals, metals, foodstuffs, and textiles. Imports include machinery, vehicles, chemicals, foodstuffs, textiles, and metals. Germany's real GDP growth in 2007 was 1.4%, with a GDP of 3.3 trillion in nominal terms and $2.8 trillion based on purchasing power parity. When examined per capita, Germany's GDP based on purchasing power parity comes out to just over $34,000 per capita. As for unemployment, Germany is currently 7.8% unemployed and facing inflation of 3.3%. Let's look at cash flows. Foreign direct investment inflows were $811 billion and outflows amounted to over $1 trillion. To take a look at Germany's markets, let's move on to Germany's premier exchange, the Frankfurt Stock Exchange. Frankfurt's main index is the DAX 30. The total exchange wide market value of publicly traded shares for the exchanges totals $1.6 trillion. Looking at Germany's political structure, the country is a federal republic overseen by Chief of State President Horst Köhler and Chief Executive Prime Minister Angela Merkel. Germany's main political forces are business associations and employers organizations, religious groups, trade unions, immigrant groupings, expelled consortiums, and veterans groups. For the judicial, Germany's legal system is a civil law system with indigenous concepts alongside judicial review of legislative acts in the federal constitutional court. On to taxes. The federal corporation tax rate is 25%, with local taxes pushing the total tax burden on companies to 39% but a recent reform will lower these rates by 10 percentage points. The top marginal personal income tax rate was reduced from 45% to 42% in 2005, but an increase in the rate on high incomes to 45% was approved in 2006. Social security contributions shared equally between employers and employees are high. The main value added tax rate applies to sales of most goods and services and was raised to 19% at the beginning of 2007. Let's take a look at the top five of Germany's big business companies listed on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange and ranked by market cap. First, we have Siemens AG with a market cap of 9.9 .9 billion euros. Siemens, an industrial conglomerate, engages in electronics and electrical engineering. Next is Allianz SE with a market cap of 78.4 billion euro, who together with its subsidiaries operates as an integrated financial services provider. Next, we have Eon AG with a market cap of 77 billion euro. Eon is an industrial group in Germany primarily engaged in the energy industry. Deutsche Telekom AG is next on the list with a market cap of 7.8 billion euro. Deutsche Telekom is an integrated telecommunications company providing its customer services in the areas of telecommunications and information technology. Our last big business company is auto and truck manufacturer Volkswagen AG with a market cap of 69.6 .6 billion euro. Looking to the future, economic growth is expected to slow from 2.5 in 2007 to 1.9% 1 in 2008 and ultimately 2% 2 in 2009. Year-on-year -year growth of German exports slowed from 8.5% in 2007 to 7.3% in the first quarter of 2008 and to 6.7% in April. Expect private consumption to make a stronger contribution to growth than in the recent past. The 2009 budget forecast calls for public spending to grow by less than 2%, suggesting that a reversal of the government's budgetary reform process remains unlikely. Inflation increased to 3.1% in May and then 3.4% in June. While inflation continues to climb higher, these results are most likely due to high food and energy costs, coupled with only moderate wages increases. The general government deficit disappeared in 2007. Small surpluses are forecast for 2008 into 2009. That concludes our presentation of Germany. I am your host, Luisana Suegart. Thank you for tuning in to markets.com country profile.